And we've got BBB here with Ray Simpson, one of the many debutants from Job's Gym. How are you doing this morning, Ray? Yeah, great. In the gym nice and early on a Sunday? Yeah. Is that par for the course? Sorry? Is that normal? Is that yeah, standard? Yeah, I'm always training like uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning. I like to get out of the way in the morning and get like 2 hours cardio in. And obviously, with many debutants, I think a lot of our fans and followers don't necessarily understand like, the graph that you do and, and the effort you put in. Yeah. How hard do you find that alongside the day job and everything that's going on outside? Well, I actually enjoy training. I know a lot of people like, say, oh, I don't, I don't like the grind, I don't like training. I actually enjoy training. When I leave the gym after like, a two-hour session, I always feel great, uh, feel good. Uh, so it's half the battle if, you, if you're enjoying it. Um, but yeah, you've got to train hard, right? I mean, there's, uh, there's no other fitness that compares to uh, boxing. It's a different level, isn't it? So you've got to be uh, uh, top physique. And how did you get into boxing? How did you find you into the sport? Um, I started boxing when I was like 13, 14 year old. Um, a lad that I knew I went to school with, he boxed and uh, just invited us down for a training session and uh, went from there. Obviously, at early days as a professional, you're turning pro on the, later this year. How do you find like your style? Do you think you, you've got a style that you know fans can look out for? Yeah, well, I've got a nice strong jab, so I like to uh, I like to work behind a strong jab, but I also like to get inside and uh, work the body. Um, I like I'm a, I would say I was an aggressive uh, boxer, but if I need to, I can get on the back foot and move and work behind a long jab and a, and a high tight guard. Right, knowing Matt like I do, he's, he's one for the fundamentals, he wants to teach those skills and yeah. it's not necessarily, obviously the fans will want to see you all out war I imagine, even in your first fight, but um, it's not necessarily going to be like that, is it? No, it's, it's sometimes uh, beneficial to get the rounds behind you as well, so if you can get, if you can get the quality rounds then that's even better again. And how important do you think it is that like Matt Jobs is going down the promoter route as well, so he's, he's not necessarily just training his fighters, he's going to be able to provide opportunities for fights? Yeah, well that's brilliant, like we were discussing the other day, we, we were thinking about putting like four or five shows on a year, which means that these guys in the gym, like yourself, can stay active and we're, get, we're getting out. How hard does it be to stay active during recent times? Obviously, we're in a new normal, we keep hearing all everything that's gone on in the last couple of years. It's probably not the ideal time to be turning pro. Yeah, well, during the first lockdown, I got myself a mountain bike and I was just doing like 40, 50 mile every other day on my mountain bike, just trying to stay fit and keep the weight down and uh, while the gyms were closed. Um, but no, everything seems to be getting back to normal now, so it's the, that's great. And with that, the, the, you mentioned there the dreaded word, the W word, weight. Yeah. How are you looking for weight? And obviously, a few weeks out from your debut, you're yeah, feeling just, confident? I've just been weird there. I'm like 16 and a half stone at the moment. Uh, I'm boxing at Cruiser, hopefully, so that's 14. So I've got another two stone to lose. Uh, starting dieting seriously now, only 12, 13 weeks till, uh, till my debut. So I think I'll uh, comfortably uh, make Cruiser weight by then. And how did you decide on Cruiser? Like, is um, how much thought and process goes into it? Guys my height, like six foot one, are boxing like two hundred pound, two hundred pound fighters at six foot one, and they the athletic physiques. Uh, so yeah, that's all I'm for. And any one last message for any fans and people wanting to buy tickets? Uh, yeah, just get in touch with uh, Job's Gym or myself for tickets. Uh, very limited tickets available because I know the show has been very popular. But um, yeah, get in touch with Job's. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time, Ray. Spot on.